Hello, everyone, and welcome back to, uh, to the Queen City Gamer. Um, I wanted to cover uh, something here. It's uh, been around a while, but it's the um, anti-aircraft trailer uh, that's part of the gun running update uh, from a while ago here in GTA. Um, this is something I've wanted to buy for a while. I've been curious to try it out. Um, I've owned a bunker for a while. And um, when I got this, I, I bought it. I paid full price. I do not own the MOC, the Mobile Operations Center. I believe you can get about a four or five hundred thousand dollar discount. I paid the full price, which was eighteen, uh, one point eight, one point nine million. Um, now I had a Bison pickup truck, thinking that all I had to do is drive it into here and hook up to it, uh, because naturally, the uh, when you buy it, it shows up in your bunker. Again, this is part of the gun running update. Uh, now, the one that I have is fitted with a, a 20, was it 20 millimeter flat cannons, I believe they are. I think you have an option for homing missiles. Um, also, I think the standard is machine gun. So I went with the cannon option. And you can see here, I struggled. I kept trying to hook up to it, thinking that all I had to do was hook up to it and drive away. But uh, that would have been too easy. Uh, I guess for Rockstar to do that, so it doesn't work. Uh, and eventually I figured that out, that there was just no way to hook up to it. And there's a whole list of vehicles that apparently can tow this thing. Um, and since I already owned a Night Shark, I own a Bison, I figured one of those two would do it. Uh, but no, I, I drove outside, tried to figure out, well, how else can I get this vehicle? Um, wasn't really able to call the mechanic, wasn't able to get it to spawn. I ended up going back to my nightclub thinking, well, what if I get away um, from my personal vehicle? But of course, my personal vehicle showed back up, which was the pickup truck. <laughs> and so I went through thinking maybe I needed to be a CEO. Maybe it was a service vehicle. Maybe it was a CEO vehicle. I wasn't really sure. I mean, I know you can call the Pounder. Um, there's a few other vehicles you can call uh, if you're a CEO. But um, I think what was killing me here was I had the Bison, my personal vehicle, right outside the nightclub. So I needed to return it. Um, once I returned that and then went back to request a special vehicle, uh, then the anti-aircraft trailer became available. And what I learned in doing this is that there's a Stadler truck that comes with it. Um, I didn't buy this. This pickup truck is just, it spawns with the anti-aircraft trailer. So I guess if you understand this way of getting it, the way of spawning it, it's not so bad. I mean, you just spawn the truck and the anti-aircraft trailer. Um, and I just stopped it to try it out. I tried to figure out how to get on the thing. Um, I'm using an Xbox controller on the on a PC, uh, so I just thought I could press Y to enter it, just like I would a vehicle. But I actually had to press X to climb on top of it, and then press the Y button in order to uh, get on it. And then from there, I could use it. Uh, and I, I did try the cannons out, and it seemed to work okay. I mean, the only thing you don't have a lot of protection on this vehicle. Um, very, very little protection. So it has a lot of firepower, pretty powerful weapon, but um, not something that you're going to stay safe in for a very long time. Um, I could see this being useful against aircraft. I think there's a limitation on the uh, height that you can raise the gun. So I see an issue where aircraft could just hover over the top of you in this if you have this uh, trailer and you wouldn't be able to do much about it. But um, I kind of prefer the guns. As far as I know, you can just keep shooting these and you don't run out of ammo. Um, whereas I think with the homing missiles, there's a limitation on how many you get. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, finally figure this out. Hopefully you can too. Thank you.